When you make yourself a tea, do you prefer it without the lemon? Oh, you like it? More acid. Yo, welcome to my second sound design tutorial with only Ableton stock plugins. This time, one of my viewers asked me to make some acid bass lines. There are some videos on YouTube about that, but many of them don't touch an important thing, which are automations. Modulating parameters in time will bring your sound design game to the next level. That's what I will teach you today, besides making the AC baseline from scratch in Ableton Analog. Let's get to work. The fundamentals of an AC baseline are easy to create. We will use only a single oscillator with a sort of wave. Make sure it's routed to the first filter, which we will use later. Let's write a melody and play the sound. Surprising, isn't it? Take a look at the volume envelope. What we want to do is turning down the release to zero. This will make the notes not overlap with each other. I will also adjust the decay and sustain parameters. The volume of the bass will drop a bit in longer notes, creating a groove. It's time to adjust now the filter. I used a low pass filter with a higher slope, so it will cut out frequencies faster. See this parameter? It shows the influence of the filter envelope over the cut off frequency. I will play the bass line and turn down the cut off frequency value. The filter will pass some high frequencies thanks to the envelope and this parameter. If we turn this parameter to zero, the filter envelope will not influence the cut-off frequency. As in the case of the volume envelope, I will adjust the filter envelope to make the bass bouncier. You can also make the envelope control the filter resonance as well. This creates an aggressive effect. In the end, change the filter drive to symmetrical 3 to make the sound heavier. The first part of this video ends here. If you like this tutorial so far, give this video a thumbs up. As a musician with 10 years of experience,
I drop tutorials related to sound design and music mixing every two weeks. If this sounds interesting to you, then subscribe to my channel. Now we will automate a few things to make the bass more interesting. The first parameter we will automate is the pitch. With this automation, I am changing the pitch of longer notes in time. This will create a slight effect. The second automation controls the filter resonance, making the bass line more aggressive. Automating the envelope influence over the filter resonance gives a similar effect. To make the filter lazier, automate the filter envelope decay. In the second half of the baseline, the filter will cut frequencies slower. We will make things spicier with a few effects. In the beginning, I will equalize the sound. I'm cutting out the lowest frequencies with a high pass filter. The bell filter boosts low mid frequencies, making the sound warmer. The automated low pass filter will give the bass line more variety. You can use the chorus to subtly widen the sound. Now it's time for the saturator, which will make the sound fatter. Later, the overdrive will change the tone of the bass. It's a great tool which you don't want to overlook. The overdrive added harmonics and higher frequencies. I will use another low pass filter to cut them again. A reverb is going to make the sound big. Look at the input processing section, which cuts out low and high frequencies from the reverb. For more variety, the high frequencies are only cut at the first calmer half of the bass line. The decay time is automated to give that extra effect at the end of the bass line. At this point, I push also the dry-wet knob up. 
A quick tip. For more artificial reverb, change the reverb quality to echo. The last equalizer will make the sound a bit warmer by boosting low mid frequencies again. The last effect is the limiter. It will squeeze the sound, making it more coherent. I will play you the final sound in a while. This tutorial ends right here. If you like it, hit the thumbs up and make use of the comments section. You can also uh, suggest me another tutorial idea. If you don't want to miss my future videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.